I was visiting a childhood friend of mine a few weeks back who I'll call Steve, and after reminiscing on the past for a while, we decided it was time to drink. We had brought a cooler onto the large property he had bought off of his parents, the same place he'd grown up in and I would often visit, so we knew the path to go down. We had a specific place in mind. When we were kids, we'd explored this property all over, pretending like there were monsters in the forest and scavenging for makeshift tools. And of course, a fort or a base was high on the priority list, so when we found what appeared to be a doomsday-style bunker, we quickly established that as our hangout spot. Eventually, we even got the generator in there to start working, and we would just watch movies and hang out. As we became teenagers, it also became a place to hide away alcohol and drink without his parents finding out. Even though we were now adults and Steve owned the property, there was still something nostalgic about going out to the bunker to hang out. We had talked for a while, but at some point he had to go back to the house and assured me he'd be back in a few minutes. Considering it's about a 15 minute walk, I knew it would be a while. So while he was gone, I decided to go into the bunker myself and see if everything was still working. As I climbed down the ladder, the dust and the cobwebs told me it had been a minute since he'd been down there. I eventually found the generator and some remaining gasoline in a container and started it up. The lights came on and I realized he must have not gone down there since we were teenagers. The steel chair setup was in the main area, with the television and the VCR player hooked up to it. The storage area had plenty of old MREs and astronaut food covered in a thin film of dust. I walked over to the VCR and noticed there was a dusty box next to it with several movies. As I shuffled through them, I came across a tape with black sharpie on it labeled, Those Things I Fear. I had no recollection of watching this, or even what it could be. I figured it was some obscure horror film, and I was pretty bored, so I put the tape into the VCR, turned on the television, wiping off the screen so I could actually see it. The tape showed just a black screen for about 15 seconds before an image came on that appeared to be from a security camera from the upper corner of a room. There was a format for a time and date, but it appeared to be random numbers. In the room, there was a television and a couple chairs. As I watched with growing curiosity, I noticed in the background a ladder come down. Then two teenagers began to climb down and then sat down in the chairs. As I continued to watch, my blood ran cold. Those kids were me and Steve. But he had never been recording as far as I knew. I looked up to where that camera would have been in the upper corner of the bunker. No camera or any sign of a camera being there. I ejected the tape and shut off the television before heading back to Steve's house. I found him slumped on the couch, unable to walk. Hey Steve, did you have cameras set up in the bunker when we were kids? I asked him, unsure if he was in any state to respond. Camera? No. Why would I put cameras in there, man? Steve responded, not giving it much thought. Well, I found this tape and Psst, put it back. Steve interrupted with a sudden sense of soberness in his voice. I began to respond when he stood up suddenly. Listen to me carefully. Put it back where you found it and come back to the house. I nodded and headed back down the trail to do what he said. I wanted to question his strange reaction, but something told me he was right. At this point, I felt like eyes were on me from all directions as I made my way through the woods. I finally arrived at the bunker and placed the tape back in the box. Then I headed back. Steve didn't want to talk about it at all, and I decided not to push him on it. We hung out for the night, and the next day I returned home, forgetting about the experience entirely. I tried to chalk it up as some sort of weird prank, but that didn't seem too convincing of a theory. Either way though, I pushed it out of my mind, getting back to my everyday life. That was until a week later. I had gotten home from work early that day, when I checked my mailbox. I had found a package with no return address on it. When I opened the envelope, all that was inside was a VHS tape. It was labeled, Those Things I Fear. Was it a prank from Steve? I had no idea. The only thing I knew was that I was terrified, and I was also tempted to watch the tape. I had an old VHS player in my attic I could have grabbed, but I wasn't sure if that was wise. Please join us next time as we continue this series.